how about 50% off of some high-end brands like Tarte, MAC, Benefit, First Aid Beauty, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Those are some brands that Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty are going to be having a fantastic sale on, and I'm bringing you my recommendations today. Hello everyone. This is the time of year when I get really excited about purchasing high-end makeup. Normally, I only do it, like you guys know, to dupe out to be, be able to bring you the very best price and be able to show you that drugstore is just as good. But this time of year, we get to try out some really good brands at a fraction of the cost. There are also, during this time, beauty steals, and those are going to be announced as the sale gets a little bit closer. So I assume that that will be released somewhere maybe Friday or Saturday, so everybody can kind of see well saturday it should be out no matter what but everybody can kind of see not only what is on what they're planning but also those little steals that go on each week and by the way they do have a lot of skincare in here i'm showing mostly makeup but my skincare routine right now is really staying very minimal i've had a lot of irritation from a product that i did try so my i'm not trying any new skincare i haven't tried any for like six weeks because I don't want to disrupt what's going on with my skin. I'm just barely getting it back into working order to where it doesn't look like it's flaking all the time. So I am being very careful. So I have tried several of these things and I just want to go through each of them with you. By the way, the sale is from the, oh, let's see. I think it's from the 29th, which is this Sunday of August. And it reaches all the way out to the 17th of September. So there is three weeks full of purchases. So let's just start with that Sunday, the 29th of August. Oh, by the way, so you know, I will list and link below my Instagram and my Facebook page. I will put these charts over there so that you guys can study them and kind of see what's going to be in the sale. Because even though I'm recommending certain things, I there's things that I don't know necessarily about and I'm not recommending. But let's just get started with something that I am in love with. Okay, Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. This foundation has been reformulated very recently and you may have seen that all over social media. There have been good reviews and bad reviews. Some people really like what it has become. Some people want them to go back to the old. So I had tried this uh, foundation like five years ago or so. I wasn't really crazy about it. I felt like it was just a little bit too much for my skin. I wasn't um, in menopause where I sweat a lot or you know have hot flashes so it kind of flew under my radar but trying the new formula I think I'm in love with this stuff. I am definitely going to be picking up another one. This one was just a tiny bit too light for me. By the way, this is light medium beige and I am wearing it on this side. I'm wearing another one on this side so you can see. I am wearing it on this side and I love the way this covers. It is a dream to cover, truly. It is full coverage and it doesn't feel like full coverage. It is a consistency of a thick foundation. It's not a thin consistency, but I did not feel once it got on my face like it was super heavy. And that's what really impressed me. I don't feel like I've got a super heavy foundation on. I feel like my, you know, my complexion is still showing through a bit, but my blemishes, my red spots, my darkness underneath my eyes, because I did use it as my concealer as well, is really hidden. And I, I really, really like it. I'm really impressed by it. And I am going to purchase that myself. And then the next day, on Monday the 30th, there is this 50% off this Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow Tinted Moisture, and I bought mine in light neutral. I do have this all over my face today, underneath even my primer. I really am enjoying this. It is a tinted one, so you could use it if you just like to have that tint and you want to get out the door. You could use it that way. I don't feel like it's a super glowy uh, product at all. I feel like the glow kind of comes from the hydration that it gives, but I do feel like that hydration is a really great hydrator. It also does have an SPF of, I believe, 25 in it. Let me check that to make sure. It is a 25 SPF, and so I think that's great. So it hydrates, and it says promotes healthy looking skin with a fresh face, dewy finish. I'm not sure if I feel like it's the dewy finish or not because I do feel like it's sunk in really well. I, if you're somebody that loves 
hydration as your primer underneath your foundation you're going to really like this because i don't feel like it made me greasy i feel like it did give that hydration but at the same time it has that little bit of tint but i'll tell you if you're an oily gal you may love this because you get the hydration you get that tiny bit of a glow and you get the protection the sun protection so this might be something that you're really on board with the next day there is the cover fx monochromatic blush and bronzer duos and this one is interesting because i've had these for years i am wearing mojave mauve on my cheeks today the peacher one is pink dahlia or pinker one so it comes with the highlighter on this side or the highlighting blush it's not even necessarily a highlighter because i don't feel like it's super duper high beam i feel like it's beautiful and it is one that is you know got that glow in it they are both just beautiful both of them they go so well together and that's what i've done today i put the glowy one under although you could put the glowy one over because it's not terribly glowy and then i put my blush on top of it I just think it's so pretty. So that one is the Mojave Mauve color. And then this one is the pink. And again, it's Pink Dahlia. And both of them are gorgeous. This is more of a natural neutral pink. It's very pretty. Um, one of the things I will say is that the bronzer was not for me. It was a little bit too warm. But I love the concept of that as well. Because I got the matte bronzer. And then you get that little bit of glow from a bronzer. So if you wanted to, you know, like strategically place that glow in the center of your face with your bronzer. And then bronze up everywhere else with the matte. That's a beautiful look. So even though the color of that bronzer didn't work for me. Me, they do have another color which i am going to try this time they're not a super powdery blush that's going to go away too quickly i feel like they do hug the cheeks really well and stay on really well throughout the day so i have loved those for a very long time the next day there are some mac lipsticks and the, mac usually does like two or three colors this time there's three um honey love and whirl um i have russian red i don't have so let's start out with honey love and honey love is the one that i actually have on underneath my gloss today it's a very neutral kind of along the lines of a kind of a pinky color not really pink i shouldn't say that it's just got a pink undertone to the nude and it's it's really really pretty i really have been enjoying this um, i've been using it with a lip liner which is nice the other one is whirl this one is a little bit too dark for me but if you are somebody that has darker skin even medium to deep skin i bet this would look absolutely beautiful and fantastic on you the consistency of mac lipsticks are amazing i have loved them for as long as i can remember i would buy them at nordstrom's and this was my splurge and i love mac lipsticks so if you're somebody that likes russian red will you let us know that down in the comment section because i've been kind of thinking about for fall to try a little bit of a red I don't know if I will or not, but it really would be helpful if you would tell us what you think of Russian Red if you're a fan of it. The next day is one of my favorite products. This is on Thursday the 2nd. This is the Monsieur Big Lancome Mascara. I got this immediately when it first came out and loved it. This is actually what I wore in the waterproof formula to my daughter's wedding and it didn't budge. It's got the natural bristles. It also has just an up and down wand. There's no uh, hourglass, no, you know, curve to it at all. I will say that on this mascara, I do find myself kind of wiping it off. That's okay with me because the mascara itself is really good. This mascara will build the definition of your eyelashes. And that's what I like about it. I actually tried two in this haul, this Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. And I tried two different mascaras. And what I decided is that the two together are fantastic. So when we get to that one, I'll talk about this one a little bit again. But I do love this. I also like it because it stayed on all day without absolutely any smudging. So they do last a very long time both of them and i do like that one on tuesday the 7th there is a stila stay all day smudge stick for 50 percent off now this i am really really excited about because i've been using these smudge sticks forever right now i have the one that is a navy color or a blue color and it is what i have on my bottom lash line and then smudged out you know out there in the corner these are so smooth and they just go on like a dream once they set down they really truly are there all day long you can you know use them as a tight line if you want to or you can smudge them out 
for kind of a look like what I have today where you just have, you know, a little bit of smudge there. I love wearing blue on my bottom lash line. My eyes are a cross between a dark, dark, dark blue and a tiny bit of green. So blue kind of makes them pop. And this one just stays there all day long and it's so pretty. Now I will say that if I get too much on, I will have too much smudging. But if I just put just a, a line on and then I go in with a smudger brush and really smudge that out, boy, that just looks exactly the same at the end of the day as it does when I put it on. So I'm a fan of those. Okay, skipping on over to Friday the 10th, they do have the Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. Now this is what I was talking about when I was talking about the two mascaras that are here besides the Lancome Monsieur Big. I really have been enjoying this. This has been my daughter's ride or die uh, mascara for years, but I guess I tried it once and I just wasn't that impressed, so I pushed it to the side. But I'll tell you, I am really impressed with the volume that this particular mascara gives. Again, the wand isn't anything, you know, different out of the ordinary. It is a natural bristle, so it's not the plastic ones. I don't have to wipe this off, but I'll tell you why I love this one is because volume. This gives me such nice, nice volume. So I will go in with this first and then I will top it off with the Monsieur Big one as tipping my the ends of my lashes and getting that length. You can work this into a really nice length, but I find that the Monsieur Big does length and the Tarte does volume when they go together. They're really good. So I want to show you my lashes and what they've done, what it's done for those. I just feel like they really defined my lashes, made them look much more thick than they already are. And I do have fairly long lashes, but it takes the right mascara to really bring that out because my lashes are like really pale blonde. So even though they're there, you can't really see them. I would probably, if I was just going to buy one, I would, I probably would go in for the Monster Big. I feel like the Tarte is the one that flakes just a little bit at the very end of the day. I don't notice any flaking, absolutely no smudging from either of these, by the way. I don't notice any flaking until the very, very end of the day, right before I'm ready to take off my mascara. But personally, I'm going to purchase both of these because I like both of them. And the price is going to be really close to drugstores. So loving both of those. Also on Saturday, September 11th, there is a foundation from It Cosmetics and it's the Bye Bye Foundation. This is full coverage moisturizer is what it says. I do have this on this side of my face. I did really like the way that this performed. I like the way that it went on. I like the way that it covered. I would say that this is not necessarily full coverage. I think that it can be built up to be full coverage, but I would say that when you first put it on, it's more like a medium coverage until I let it set, put a second coat on, and then I felt like it was medium full. This does have some SPF in it as well. It has an SPF of 50 like the original, and it has um, hydration and anti-aging benefits in it and it says it has 3D Skin Flex. Now, I'm not sure what 3D Skin Flex is other than maybe what it sounds like, like it's supposed to flex with your skin. I don't feel like it broke apart. I felt like it wore really well. I don't feel like it wore as long as the Amazonian clay from Tarte, but I do feel like I got a good day's wear out of this. I should just show you the consistency on these, otherwise you're not gonna really be able to see it. So the consistency on this, you can see that that is quite thick, but at the same time, it's definitely a liquid. And I will show you that Amazonian clay one right here. This one is thick. As a matter of fact, I will say that this one reminds me almost of like a cream to powder foundation, that type of thing. So if you're somebody that doesn't like the way that that sets down into a mat, you might not like that. So you can almost tell how much thicker it is. Definitely going to give you a mattifying look to your face. So, you know, if you love glowy foundation, that one is not glowy. But and I'll tell you something. I would love to mix these two together and see what their consistency is, and I probably will do that and bring that to you in another video. But really nice on both of them. I just felt like maybe the IT one didn't cover my blemishes as well. So if you're looking for a little bit more natural, more light, then you really might like that one. Plus all of the good skin-loving ingredients and everything that it boasts about the SPF, the moisturizer, all of that. So this one might be the one that you really like. Now, I will tell you really quickly that between the original and this one, I think I like the original one a little bit better. Just an FYI there. Air Minerals Pro Pressed Foundation. 
I am in love with this. I've had the original that's the loose formula forever that I use to go over my foundation at times if I'm going to a special occasion and it just locks it in and I've got that on all day and it really perfects really well. You have the most beautiful smooth canvas, but I had not tried this very before and I am so impressed with this. This is going to live in my purse and I am so glad that this is on sale. This one that I have is Cool Beige beige 10. You can see that that's just a tiny bit too dark for me. So I'm going to have to get one that's just a little bit lighter, but the way that this wears, the way that it lays down on skin, on my skin, it is gorgeous. And I am wearing it underneath my foundation and I'm wearing it over top of my foundation. It is my setting powder. And you guys know that I have been touting Becca, their light shifter powder. I've been talking and talking and talking about how gorgeous that is. This is almost as light. It's a little bit because it is a foundation. I will say that it would probably, you know, go on a little bit heavier if you were to really work in there. But I really do feel like it was very perfecting and it really made my face look so soft and blurred with a soft focus effect. And I just, I love how this foundation, how the foundations turned out when I put this on top of it. And usually I hate powder other than my Becca. I really do. It, and number seven. I like number seven too. But I really have been enjoying how beautiful this is and I can't wait to get it in the right color and keep using it. And it just gives such a soft look. And I think that this really soft look, yes, the glowy look is going to continue, but this really soft kind of mattified look, I think that that's going to be a really pretty look going forward into the fall where we're not quite going for that very, very dewy look that we look for lots of times during those summer months. The next one is the Buck some full force plumping lipsticks. All right, I got this too, and I decided that I love the formula on this. I don't like what I got for a color, but the formula on this, if you've tried the regular lip glosses, the formula on this gives that same cooling effect, and yes, I do feel like as it goes on, it feels very plumping. The shades on Ulta are very deceiving. I hope that you can go in and look at the shades. This one right here is called Mover. It's a hot, hot, bright, bright pink. It is not a color that I would normally choose. It just is not one that, you know, flatters me a lot, but the formula is so pretty. It's a satin lipstick that really does give that nice plumping effect. It's not going to make your lips look like uh, Kim Kardashian or Kylie Jenner, obviously, but it's really a nice, nice formula. And I'm definitely going to be picking up some of these during the sale. As we skip over to September 14th, that is a Wednesday, this comes on sale. And this is from Urban Decay. It's the All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer Dewy Foundation Grip Preps, Smooths, and Hydrates. I really like this. It does feel super hydrating. And I do feel like it has that gripping property too because I wear it, I've been wearing it on this side and testing the other one on this side. And I do feel like any foundation that I've been wearing on top of it has lasted a little bit longer on this side. So you, I don't know if you can see or not, but it is very, very hydrating. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel tacky, but I can tell that it has that gripping, gripping property in it. It's very light. It's sinking into my skin, but I can feel that hydration and I can feel a little bit of the dimethicone that is the smoothing part too, but it definitely lives up to the hydration and the gripping part of it. So I would say yes on this one if you're thinking about getting a new primer. All right, on the next day, that is Thursday the 15th. This is actually the favorite primer that I've tried in here. And this one is the Professional Primer in Translucent Pearl and Hydrate. And I got this one in Hydrate. And I just got the little one because I didn't obviously know if I was going to like it or not. But oh my, this is so lovely. You guys know that I have been talking about NYX, how much I love NYX and the marshmallow primer and how it quickly became my very favorite primer because of the hydrating, the smoothing, everything about it was so great. This one is basically the NYX is a dupe for this one or this is a dupe for the NYX, whatever you want to say. This makes my uh, foundation look 
beautifully smooth. I am wearing it on this side. That's the side I've been testing. It does have just a little bit of a tint to it. It's kind of a flesh tone, but this is that hydrating factor, but the factor of being smoothing, filling in these large pores that I have through my T-zone. My nose has terrible large pores right here. I have really bad large pores and I I'm in love with this. I'm going to I'm going to stock up with this because I do feel like it really really lived up to the hype. This one if I had to choose between those two, the all nighter and this one, it would be this one because this one is really, really awesome. Now they have it in the pearl and they have it in the original. The next day on Friday the 16th is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. This is going on 50%. And do I feel like this one is worth it? Yes. I feel like if you're a cool toned person or a neutral person, somebody that leans more towards those, you're gonna get some great looks out of here. But you also do have this warm tone right here. I love the metallics in here. I feel like they are really next level. I'm a really big fan of Anastasia. Anastasia's eyeshadows and I feel like this palette is one that I just I bought I don't feel like any regret from it I've used it a ton you can see I'm really into the metallics because the metallics are what the ones that have the divots in them I love the mattes as well But I really am a fan of those metallics and it really does have some really great color choices I will say that her eyeshadows are just they're super fun for me. I love them I think that the saturation the blendability all of that's there If you've never had an Anastasia palette before you need to know that yes There is a little bit of fallout but a good pigment there can be some fallout just so you know that tap your brush off really well I don't think you'll have any problems with it. You can sheer these out. You can build them up They're beautiful and I think that this palette is a really good value at that 50% off price point and definitely Definitely one that I would say that if you like that color scheme, go ahead and pick that up. Thank you guys so much for being with me today. I hope that you did enjoy seeing my rundown. This is the first time I have done this in years, but I hope that you did enjoy seeing it. Let me know by giving me a thumbs up if you would, and let me know in the comment section if you enjoy seeing recommendations that I can give you for really great sales like this. Love you guys so very much. Please take care of yourselves and stay healthy. I will talk to you in my next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.